Chuck in here. And uh, we just want to hang out with you guys for, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes and just kind of talk about things that are going on. I know everybody's a little bit uh, disappointed about we did not cancel, we postponed it. That's right. And so we're going to, you know, unlike other forms of music, we feel that thrash metal is very honest. We feel that we write our stuff and we're very honest with our fans. So Chuck called me and says, hey, what do you think that we should, this was about a week and a half ago, because we did Aftershock, which we'll get into, and uh, we were all on that, but uh, that's why we couldn't get in here last week. But he called me about a week and a half ago and said, what do you say we get in the vault and kind of give everybody a little bit of perspective on what's going on, let them come in and have questions or comments on that type of stuff. But first, let's get into, we got to actually do it a, kind of the Bay Strikes Back because we got to play Aftershock Festival last uh, uh, Thursday, Thursday yeah. and uh, which is in Sacramento, California. So for those of you guys that did get to attend, it was a lot of, we had a great crowd. I know you guys had Yeah, I mean, it was crowd. awesome. And you've seen how so everything, fun, the lineup I mean? changed so, totally yeah. from the yeah. first day it was announced, the lineup right. to what ended up happening. Right. Totally changed, but it changed for the better because the bass strikes back, got to get up there and pretty much throw down on stage. Well, I think that was, stage. that was what the positive was, is that uh, Death Angel wasn't originally on. I believe Hatebreed was originally on. And then uh, we were all gonna be on tour anyway. So it worked out that well, but um, I think for the Bay Area fans that did come down and for other people that came to see the festival from other parts of the world or the United States, it was definitely a treat for you guys because when do you get to see that? Well, I mean, we're about ready to do it, but things kind of happened and that's kind of why Chuck's here right now and we wanted to uh, talk with you guys and answer your questions if you have any, you know, because we have rescheduled it and it's, it's gonna take till the spring, but uh, we want to talk about the industry and what's going on in the industry and what's going on that you guys don't know about. They don't print the magazines or talk about on the um, on the internet. But there's a lot of things that happen uh, on tour that you don't hear about. Like I don't was it Hatebreed or Trivium had to fly to some of the shows because their bus driver got sick. Lamb of God crew. Lamb of God crew. All flew for so, a week and then the band bus driver got sick and they're. Switching, but it was just like a big juggling act, just trying to get the tour to complete. Which, thank God, they got to finish it. They did get to finish but, it. But you know, they had to jump through a bunch of hurdles, and that was the one tour I think we were really watching. Let's see, even though they're playing sheds and they got big dressing rooms and they really can distance, the challenge was if they get sick. Here we are going on the club run, basically, where there's a lot of common space, too much smaller common, dressing rooms. We talked about that, too much common space. But I think the bottom, the, the one key thing that came to us, because we all called, I called Zet, and I called, you know, uh, Will and Ted from Death Angel, and just wanted to hear what everybody's thoughts were. And the most important thing, I think, came back is that, you know what, when we did the European leg, we all had such a great time. It was the first tour where, you go out and there's not a band that you haven't met that you got to get to know and hang out with where we came into it as like hey buddy we're all like pals flying out together i'm flying to hamburg with testament <laughs> yeah, we're all, I mean? yeah we're all i'm going, not going on the boat for right from hell it didn't feel like starting a tour it's like we're all going out there and at the end of it we all i we all had a good time i mean i know we did we got Best to hang out ever. It was Best such forever. a good, no attitudes, no Everybody problems. Knew what they get from each other, it's great. And they all know how to work. We all worked each other since the '80s together. It was just well. The key thing was here we were going. Like, when we're going to do this, America, because we said this has got to go to America, yeah. right? Well, this yeah. has to go everywhere. We're saying that. And the most key thing was, you know what? Remember how much fun we had? I was talking to Tom about it, you know, and Gary. We had a great time. Do we want to do America and not have fun? Right. Not enjoy yourself. Look like out the window. And, uh, the hey, Sid, window. how you doing? Man? Hey, Tech Chuck, what are you watching yeah. tonight? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, you want to borrow that movie? What I'll do is I'll leave it outside yeah. and sanitize it. You can come over and pick it up and put it in your fucking DVD player. Because I did talk oh, to yeah. other people on tour, and the consensus was is it, it wasn't fun. You know, right. like, well, do we want to go do that? We want to have fun. We're I think we're bands that like to go out and talk to the fans. We don't hide and run that from fans. That was another thing. I mean, we would not be able, you know how I'm, I'll go out and hold court and talk to people off the bus every night. Or if you see me walking into the venue, you, I always stop and think, that was not going was to gonna be happen. allowed this time. I made a post earlier saying, apologizing, saying, you know, we're getting ready to go on tour and 
I'm sorry for all you guys that come and hang out with me for 30 plus years. It's not going to be different this time. Yeah, people were hitting me up as well saying, uh, uh, hey, Zed, you know, can you get me in? Well, I can get you tickets, but I can't see you. And you can't come back and say hello and have a beer and smoke a joint or fucking whatever we do. It's not allowed on this. We have to be very careful. And then, again, there's the whole cost factor. People think that, you know, buses cost money. Crew costs money. We're not rich rock stars. We're, we live off of the business, and we're very fortunate to do so. But we still have to look at it from that angle. And if we go out for three weeks... And we've printed all this merchandise with the dates on the back. And we've got all these guys out there. And Chuck gets sick. Dude, you going to get a new singer for Decibit? You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't replace it. So tour is now over with. Because Death Angel and Exodus are not going to go, well, Testament's dropping off. We're just going to continue. That's not the package. That's not how it works. Gary gets sick. Over with. Zetro gets sick. Over with. Tom, who's just coming back. From you know his whole ordeal with cancer, Tom gets sick. Done over tour over. So and I don't think we even knew if Tom was going to be on the tour yeah. yet at that point. At that, right? We didn't. You know, we so, didn't. We didn't. You know, if if he could have made it, then that would have been another obstacle to really protect. Yeah, the everybody's got to you, know, you know be careful around Tom because obviously his body's compromised now. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of things that went into that thought. And again, we're talking to our friends on other tours. We're taught we're getting the feedback from the crews and and they're telling us you know uh, uh you know what's going on and what a nightmare it is and yes we're they're working but we're isolated it wasn't the same it, it wasn't, wasn't the same <laughs> you know what i mean and i didn't get I, I as i've always said as soon as it's not fun anymore i don't want to fucking do it anymore so if we're going to go out there for five weeks and you're going to basically put me in a a tube, a rolling prison, basically, I, I can't do that. I mean, on days off, we had to be accountable for it. I mean, I like going to the movies or going to games and stuff on the day off. You can't do that because if I go out and I expose and I expose everybody, it's just the way that it had to, we had to tour on a bubble, basically, and those that have tried to do it so far. And testing everybody every day, every, every day. couple days, it's like, it just sounded like a pain in the ass, right? I mean, so... You know, we, we looked at, we really like took our time thinking about, do we want to go and do this? You know, and I think at the end of the day, after all of us talking, it just came down to, let's go out and do this right. Let's go out and do, have some fun. Let's go out and do it for the fans that got to hang out that we've been, you know, doing this for, for all this time. And it just made more sense. And we really watched the other tours. And, you know, it sucks for us because we really were looking forward to it. It sucks we for have, the We fans, haven't been out on the road since Bass Strikes Back in Europe. We came back in the first week of March of 2020. This fucking year's almost over with and we're 21. So you sick. don't think we don't want to go out and play? We came home I mean, sick, you know. I mean, so it's like, exactly. okay, first time back out and we're we're fighting it, running you from it again. So we're still we, running from we, the virus. We, we don't want to do that. We didn't want to do that this time. We didn't want to run um, the, the gambit. You know, so, um, hi, Crystal. I know you watch all the time. Crystal Cancel, she always watches. Um, somebody wants to know, how's life in Discovery Bay, Charlie? Life in Discovery Bay is great, man. It's sunny. It's, it's uh, got a pontoon boat. Wow, well, else would it be? It no. goes out and chills. <laughs> How else would it be? No, I, I love it out there. It's, uh, I, I, you know, it's a peaceful little community. You know, it's, uh, kids are outside playing on the streets. It's not I'm like computer, you know. Yeah, exactly. I so I, that's what I like about it. Is the Fox show still on? It's on, yes, baby. It and we are home. Yeah. Because this way, we're not traveling to it. You know, we don't have to worry about, we show, so somehow somebody gets sick, they'll get sick that day, and at least the show will happen. You know, go home I mean? and so, isolate your 10 exactly, days. Exactly, you know? whatever, however it has to work. Unfortunately, this is the world we live in. We're looking at the spring because, we're, and this is speculation, we're hoping this is obviously with more, you know, science and inoculation and people and herd immunity, then hopefully we can, you know. Well, the hard part is there's so many restrictions and venues or different cities are different. You either got to have the shot or show proof. Some aren't. They're just out the window. You know, so as time goes by, it's I think it's all going to open up better. I mean, because first of all, 
we've seen the world changing like okay there's daylight things are getting normal and then the delta variant gets I'm like oh here we go again now it's things are changing shutting down restrictions are coming back we thought we booked this tour knowing by the time october comes around it's going to be free and clear right and it changed on us so that's that that was the suck part for us you know so what i'm hoping that's going to happen because they call it the delta variant i've come up with the name the omega variant doesn't come out by uh delta and omega from animal house <laughs> the omega variant variant doesn't come out and uh by uh the spring we're fighting something else so hopefully time is going to heal this and we're coming regardless we're not going to do this again if we, even if we have to bubble this motherfucker we're going to do it we will not do this to you guys again we or ourselves we did not want to do this we we we, we truly want to play and for all the places that we are not coming to believe me there'll be more legs of it especially as we've seen how the ticket prices uh, the tickets were going and selling so well everybody was so very excited for it if you can go on ticket stuff up the Oakland show, The Fox, is a beautiful hey, theater to see again. I guys. talked to our agent today. There's a hundred less than a hundred tickets left. Thirty-four ninety-five a ticket. It's an awesome weekend. Thanksgiving, Saturday night yeah. after Thanksgiving, people are going to be looking for things to do. Perfect thing to do. So go get it because this is going to be a sellout. It's going to sell out. And a bonus, I'm actually the Friday night before. I'm doing an AZ DZ gig at the at the at Vinny's for like a pre <laughs> pre uh, uh, Bay Strikes Back to a party. I do my tribute band. Me and Will Carroll awesome. will be on Friday at Vinny's in Concord, California. So if you do fly out, you can get your fucking full weekend of Zetro if you want to. But it's going to be a great weekend. We will not cancel that show. We will not. Um, uh, cancel the next leg of the tour. No, it's because actually, happen. there was actually a second leg in the works of the Bay Strikes Back. And for the agent, it was a pain in the ass because once we said, okay, well, let's think about changing, it's like, all right, well, we're not canceling that. We're going to postpone it. So he had to go contact all the venues, which we already had second leg in the works. Okay, hold on to that second leg. We're going to move the first, the first leg to the second, second leg. leg. And now, what are we going to do the second leg to make that happen? Right. So, it was a big juggling act, and I apologize for announcing it, you know, closer to the tour leaving, but we wanted to make sure that we had it thing. in place. And know? that was the whole idea. We didn't do it before because we wanted to say, hey, hey, they're canceling. No, we're postponing it. We already have the date, so if you have your tickets, we're honoring them. And I've seen your, um, your messages. Yes, uh, north, Northwest, Seattle, Portland, Vancouver, all in Canada, we're coming. We will come. We'll make a leg to get up there. We know you guys are great fans up there, and it was, we got up there sparingly last time, Charlie. Yeah. We didn't play, uh, Exodus played like, I think, on the, on the seven years that we toured on Blood In, Blood Out, um, we played three shows in Canada. Us so. too, about the same, and I, I, I'm talking to our agent Scott that, Let's go back like we used to do. Start at one end and just work our way across the other side. Exactly. You know, that's the way to and do it. And our agent is the same agent, so he works together with with uh, Testament and Exodus, and so it, it works out. But we definitely want to do that. So um, have we got any questions of anybody worried about anything? What do you think, Tim? Yep. A few more things coming. A couple more questions. How about, oh, so they want to talk about it. I thought it was... Tom's shirt first show back. That was so awesome. I, we were, I know my wife and I know the, Ursula, they were side stage like in tears because it was tears of joy because yes. watching Tom up there do his thing. And I, even for Tom, I bet he was just probably very I'm sure was pleased and overwhelmed. And, overwhelmed. and, and, and the, the love that he got from the crowd. Practicing to playing a live show is totally two different yes. things. Yes. So I'm sure it took a lot out of him, but I'm sure he was ready for it. We you know? had to, we practiced the day before. It was the first time we played, we rehearsed with Tom. And Gary had to go, you need to slow down. And it's like, he was so excited. When we rehearsed Strike of the Beast, it was probably, it was on 78 speed, man. It was like, blah, 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 blah. so uh, he was really excited. Um, Tom is like, you guys are big fans of him. Tom is a big fan of you guys. He loves you. He loves the fans. He loves you guys. He wanted nothing more was to be here and, and play and, and do this, especially from this record cycle that we got coming out. Chuck's heard the whole record, and I know you guys have heard a couple, couple of songs. Where it's going to be a really 
good time for Exodus right now. And I think with Tom coming back, it's he was yeah, man, just to I, I didn't even know we had a backdrop. Gary and Jack said, do we fly a backdrop? Oh, no, we didn't have a backdrop. It was from Persona to somebody put the Persona in the ground. We weren't really playing anything from back yet. I stared at Tom the whole time, Chuck. I was every time I looked back, I was just watching Tom. It was great to see him play. Yeah, we was up there watching it, uh, as long as I can until I had to warm up. But yeah, it was good to see him up there just <coughs> doing his thing. You know, you can see the smile and the joy of, of getting there. And I think for the fans, and I think a lot of the tour, you know, I wasn't sure if he was going to do the Bay Strikes Back to Schedule one. He weren't either. So the postponement, that yeah, sucks. But hey, we're going to have Tom right on that. Well, right. One. And Tom, I'm sure, is going to be in Oakland too, right? Yeah, so, he will be. Yeah, obviously. You know, so that that's now. good. That's good. It's going to. There be awesome. was a few. I mean, we had to obviously talk about drummers that could possibly do it. You know, we had actually on if you went to a uh, cycle Vegas. Or if you saw us at Full Terror Assault, you saw our, our man in crime. He was Johnny, 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 Johnny T. Johnny Tempesta, who actually plays with the Colt now, came in and he has so much, you know, Exodus blood. Obviously, he was on Impact and Force and Habit. And he did a, an amazing job. But I, I think to go out on tour and do 31 dates, I wasn't really in John's pocket. So we were talking to some other guys, but it worked out really well. Will Bay Strikes Back come back to Europe, Charlie? Yes. Yes, it's it's in the plans, but it's gonna be, well, I don't want to put my foot in the mouth, but it's gonna be a bigger st base strikes back. Okay. We hopefully. Oh bring, yes, yes, you it, did. We're say. gonna bring on some other acts. I'm not gonna say what and who, but it's gonna be the base strikes back times ten, right? Yes, I mean, so I was, you said something about yeah, that. Yeah. So that that's in the works now. We got a couple people signed off do on we, it. Do we have a? a End of 2022, quite possibly. Um, yeah. I, I, well, since everything's getting pushed back, and we're kind of see how Europe. Because goes. it looks like we're we're going to be in Europe during July and August. I know to do. The we're going to be show. there. Yeah. So I think I'm thinking. Too, so. I'm hearing early 2023. Early. Early, like January, Which February. Which is really not that long away because you figure in a year from now you're buying tickets to it. You know what I yeah. mean? So I think right after Nams, you know, so because right. every all the musicians go to Nams, so. Right. You know, right after that, early February. So, that'll be that'll be. It, I'm looking forward to that because, Bay Strikes Bad. We had a great success on that tour. We had sold out shows everywhere. Played some great rooms, and the the, the next one it's even bigger. We're even well, better, bigger step rooms. Step so up, right? Step up, it up, bring so. it up, bring it in, or go home. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so just, I'm looking forward to that. That's that's going to be very exciting. But, you know, we we actually postponed our European run this year and now we're every all that schedule's moving to next year. So it's just a big juggling act, but you know we want to be safe. We want our fans. We want to see our fans and that, that's I mean, the bottom line. Did you guys were kind of planning like a, a meet and greet that they had to stand back and I was like, it's not really a meet and greet. It's I, I, I like... stole it from the Slayer book, you know. Yeah. They come watch sound check. They're down on the dance floor. We'll feed them some pizzas. We had some testament beer. We were gonna give them, and you know, hey guys, and shoot a photo in there in front of the stage. That's as close as we can get to like hang with the fans. And even that was okay. sketchy. People Ooh. were kind of saying, I don't know. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to meet Chuck Billy. Fuck yeah. that. I don't want him standing on stage. I'm paying for. It. Sound check, fuck sound check. They sound like <laughs> shit in sound check. That's what they're doing. They're sound checking. They're not playing. It's like he only sang one song. I thought he exactly. was singing the whole set. No, really no, sang no. half of yeah. it. Fuck that. And he took a picture of the stage. I could have done that with a selfie while they were on stage. But that's as close as we can get to the right. to well, being that's in the why fans, we, you know, we, have so. to, we have to change it to so next. Um, yeah. Any plans for any more DDP music? Definitely not. Definitely not. Willie's no longer with us. Yeah. So yeah. it doesn't make sense. He, he was the brainchild of it i couldn't do it without him and that was the whole thing and it's, it's a, when, when willie passed away dd the the anything new went along i mean i would look forward to doing that i mean you know just a couple special shows to bring bluto your brother in to play bass or something or you know i'm sure, I, I'm even sure the last being... time we did it i was like he's just we, money money wasn't there yeah, but you know what's funny there. though fans around the world love those records i know i talked to people that are what ddp what are you gonna do ddp all these signing things that they got ddp it's it's a it's I a know. good fun record you know what i mean They're, but well the first one's fun record second one's heavy as shit. <laughs> uh new testament music being written 
It is. Eric, since now he's got time, he's going writing music, which um, he's actually writing music because we're going to be in a movie. Um, we're, we're Chuck we Billy. Are you. I'm getting Eric's going to too, but Chuck Billy Pictures is okay. going to be, so, I'm going to be executive producer and it's going to be a horror film that we're going to be filming in December. And we're writing two songs for that. And so that that's the start of kicking Eric into, let's get in that mode, Eric. Let's write some songs. Ooh, that's a good one. So because um, I need to put Chuck Billy up here somewhere, but I don't want Chuck Billy as Chuck Billy from Testament. I need Chuck Billy from whatever character you are from the movie. Then I get you in a bobblehead. I put you on the vault. I'll be up there. Uh, it's funny you say that. They're making one. So good. Well, good. <laughs> Fuck it. Good. I, and I want the figurine. I want everything yeah. that goes along with it. We're going to put it right up here in the hall of fucking... All the classics are here, bro. All the classics. Yeah, it, it's going to be fun. It's something new for me. Um, I, we were approached to do it. And to, first of all, to have me in it. And it turned... It grew into like, hey, you know... Why don't we fund it? You know, I'll fund it and turn into the exit producer. And Sadie Katz is the star in it. The, she's she's known in, in horror movies. Uh, Jim Towns is going to direct it. And uh, hopefully we're looking to hopefully Lionsgate Films and distribute it. Um, so it's it's new thing. And, you cool. know, I, actually, when I leave here. Chuck I, Billy, whore. I, I could get my she, you know, I wear all whore. Oh, shit yeah. With a picture of Chuck, but not from Testament. No, when can I leave here. Can you movie's name? Uh, the demon in me, but when I leave, when I leave today, I'm going for my first acting lesson. Going, wow! <laughs> and you heard it right here yeah. on the ball first. first I can say I lessons. used to know that guy when he's in Hollywood. How fucking amazing is that? Yeah, it's a pretty cool script. It's going to be scarier and shit, like The Exorcist. Um, I have pretty pretty cool scenes in it, um, and it's not a cameo. I actually have a part in it, and. Uh, you know, it's it, it, it's I'm happy you know? for you. I suppose you, hey. you know that's my thing. Hey, I'm the executive producer. I'm gonna bring Zed on into the movie yes, too. You can I hey. get me in? I'm, I'm, I'll do it. We need a bartender. I'll, 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 I'll do anything. anything you right. want. I'll do it. I'll do any part you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slash me up. Like, I don't. I don't know if you need a friend. I'm. I'm there. I'm in it. I'll do it. No problem. No, but we do have a little cool. control on that. So cool. Let me know. You know, I know. I don't think I'm doing anything in December, so I'm open. Perfect. I'm open. Sounds good to me. Um. Will Testament doing any type of my, milestone release or anniversary documentary, book, anything like that? Picture book? You know, Jewish Priest did 50 years of just photos. Did you yeah. see that? Thing? I didn't That's see that. Amazing. But I've been to talk to we Gene saw, Ambo. We had it in here, didn't we, Tim? We had yeah. that in here. Yeah. That would be, I want well, to do it. Oh, yeah, he's Ambo's got everything. Been, Ambo's been hitting me up for the last year trying to put a book together for us with a lot of his stuff. Which is good. I like Gene, and uh, we're still working on that, but we definitely are working on a, on a book uh, with all base exclusive Ambo stuff. You know, so that'd be cool. You Any know. releases for extra things on a re-release of Titans? Well, Any Titans, movie? we're working on that since we're kicking Eric in the butt to write some songs. We're pushing to write an extra track because we never did a title track called right. Titans of Grace. So we're right. like, why don't we write that song? And put it out with the new release. Yeah, we'll you could do a new package. New package with the new title sure. track. That's shit, a new video. You know, so that, that's what we're planning to do. And hopefully that'll coincide with the Bass Strikes Back next year. So we got a little time to get it together and, and do that. So we'll see. And we've got some things going. We, You know, I know everybody's done live streams. We're talking about doing some since we're not going to do tour. Like, well, everybody's doing some cool streams. What can we do? So we thought maybe we'll plan something in the Bay Area, um, doing a stream and doing some cool Q and A stuff. And you know, the men you know, do it. Yeah, like, we're he working. Can, yeah. He did our. He did ours. I'm sure. So I mean, in our uh, the old producer for the show, uh, Wayne Marsala. He's the man. He did our. Uh, he's involved because he's the one who hooked us up with where. Well, I guess we haven't got permission yet, but Wayne's been hooking us up with the naval base out there on the ship on USS Hornet. So you can get it. We did Tempo of the Dam. We did a Wars My Shepherd there. He's, he's a he might. They were trying to get up on the flight deck up there. You can get the there. I so. think it costs us. This was what twenty years ago, fifteen hundred bucks to raise the thing on us twice. So remember, like yeah. if you see us, we come out of the aircraft thing and come up. That's what. It, so there's like things you can do on that, and we had a. 
12 to 4 window to shoot everything. Yeah, so we're, we're can, working on that. So, can, that, so I'm that's, sure that's, that's it's a, not impossible. No, you can get no. it done. So we want to do something cool. Sure. You know, I mean, all the guys, I mean, the tough thing about us is we all don't live near each other. So no. when, when it's time to play some of Alex has to come from New York, being up from San Diego, all the crew lives everywhere. So, you know, it's a little bit of a challenge to get us together. Us too now. I'm now. I'm. I'm now departing. <laughs> I will be. A, I'm no longer in Dublin. I will be a resident of Oakdale, California. That puts me in Oakdale. Uh, Gary's in Meadow Vista. Uh, Tom Lake Almanor, Jack Nashville, and Lee Danville. Yeah. So we're like. So everybody spread just like yeah. you guys are. Yeah. So it's just one of those things. I think you're actually Oakdale is probably a little closer to me now than. I, I think so. <laughs> Base strikes back in New Zealand, Australia, please. What's the chances of, I mean, it's so hard. The Testament to has never been in New Zealand. Have you guys been? I, no, uh, no, uh, they did with Dukes, not with me. Okay, I, Testament's never been there, and I keep telling them, when are we going, when are we going? Even you if we don't make money, to let's go. New Zealand? No, man, I keep You'd making, make money because you know. you've never been there. You're in a legendary status now. Well, Plus, I just want to get there go. and play. But Australia, I love Australia, you know. But yeah. it seems to be um, only when Soundwave Festival was going on that got us there. Um, so, you know, I don't know what the situation is there. I know they're pretty strict as hell on COVID laws. You can't even leave your county they're, to they're, go to other counties they're, over there. They're like right yeah. now, they're like out of their minds almost. So yeah. probably not too soon. Not too soon. But, you know, I, I definitely want to get there. Japan, and, you know, love that. And hopefully, that hopefully we can take base strikes back to Japan. I think Thrash Domination would love to be perfect, oh, God, right? That I mean, would be perfect. perfect. And throw a little Viley, Vio on there or something like yeah. that and make it perfect. Yeah. Uh, Tatiana donated 25. Thank you very much. Uh, Owen donated 10. Cool. We love that. DVD of the Bay Strikes Back tour for those who can't. Have we thought about that? Well, I mean, that's a good idea. We should. Do I don't want to like put thoughts in your head, but we're, we're we're planning to capture the fox. Oh, you are. Because that's going to be like we don't we sick. Don't, yeah, we won't we won't um, have it. Uh, well, I think I think I we could put it if you guys plan a show to film somewhere or wherever. And we all just put it together as a package. That that I would, would be a good possibility. Like, like the Paramount in 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 New York, you know what I mean, or Jersey in the San Sayreville. Yeah, the Paramount. That's a great place. Yeah. to do it. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. I don't know. Again, our whole focus was just getting Tom back and healthy. So to try to push this, I, I think. What and us having a new record out. That's right, November nineteenth, Persona Non Grata. Uh, our uh, our thing is like. Let's get the record out. Let's let, because that'll be the first time we'll ever play those songs, Charlie. Probably not a good idea to film those on the first night that we play the songs. But uh, you know, I, I mean, we're professionals and all. But I mean, obviously, after two weeks or so on the road, you're much more seasoned. You know, it looks and sounds way better after a couple weeks. Oh yeah. Think? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, every, every time we film something. It's either like at the end of the trip, and oh, my voice is a little tired, or oh, you know, right. you're going through the same motion. And so, but the yeah. second week, you're you're on fucking fire. So it's 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 kind of that's kind of uh, how uh, I feel anyway. By the first week, you got you still get bangovers. Oh and yeah. All of a sudden, after the second week, your head's in again, and your voice is in, and you're you're on, and you know the set, and you know what he's gonna do, and it moves along. You know, oh shit, that's right, that song goes like. Oh, because on the last tour, remember we did that and I fucked it up? Because I do that from time to time. Gary gets so pissed that I pass over songs because I know <laughs> I'll look dead. Do you do that? All the time because vision ain't so good anymore. Is that something I'm looking Wait, can't, can't wear glasses say. on stage. So <laughs> I'll look down and I'll, I'll like, I'll, I'm, what did I do? I'm, I went out something and, I'm, and it's supposed to be piranha and I just see out of the corner of my eye him coming up on me. Parada, parada. And I'm like, I had already announced like a lesson in violence. I go, we'll just switch them. And so it's like, nobody knew, but damn, that list sometimes just, they hide words in there sometimes. But you know, that's part of the show. And I think that's part of the reality of the fans. Like, you know, it's not, doesn't have to be perfect. Because sometimes if we screw up a song at the beginning, stop. That's not right. Fuck this. Start it again, you know. No, but that's cool. That's it's it's genuine. Yeah, exactly. It's genuine. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not like, 
We're just going to act like this didn't happen because the true fan of the crowd go, did you hear that? Testament just fucked up. <laughs> yeah. They pointed. What did he, what was What was Skull Record doing? Oh, I that? pointed out we like, fucked up. I said, hey, we fucked up. That, Start I, it again. I, 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 like, and I don't, I, I mean, you know when you fuck up <laughs> and people don't, and I do, and I like, oh, oh God, I flung, flung that up. Like, and Gary caught it a couple of weeks ago. I was at Full Terror Assault, and uh, I did Toxic Waltz that I've done a million times, and I got to, uh, I think... Is that, that what the, all the golf carts uh, raised? Yes, <laughs> that was with the golf carts, and thank you for everybody with those cards. Uh, I got to the part that said, um, um, bounce backwards with blows and blood, move touch your nose, and I was like... I forgot it. I just forgot it. And I went, blah, 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 like that. And Gary listened to the playback and he goes, hey, you fucked up that tonight, didn't you all? What? 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 Nah, nah, what me? I didn't do it. He's like, yeah, yeah I heard you. And it happens. It happens, people. Oh, yeah. It happens. It's just kind of one of those things. So, I, that, Eric does the same to me because it, it always happens for me. We'll start the song, and here comes the first line. I'm like, uh oh, I saw Eric, and he knows all of them. I look at him, he's like, oh, yeah, okay. And I come right in because Eric, Eric he, he knows them all, you know. I pretty much do too. I, 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 I every once in a while, I, but I'm pretty, I'm about 99%, and I memorize them all. I always memorize them. I feel it that way. Um, um, so every once in a while, I, I'll get to like the right before the second verse and go, What's the first line, the second person? And then I start getting nervous, and I'll turn around and look at Tom going, what the fuck's the <laughs> Oh, yeah, and it'll come right before right it Right, a in. second so, before, you're like, bam, right oh, before. there it is. Well, why don't we take a couple of more calls, and then I'll let you get out of here, because you got a movie to do. <laughs> what, we got? what do we got, Tim? We got a couple more things? We got one more. Okay, cool. Kind of one of those what-if questions. Okay. Exodus DA tests some record on a, on an album where we would record each other's songs and covers. Basically, would we do an album where we recorded each other's songs? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that that would be right. I'm not going to be able to do Osegeda. Osegeda's not going to be able to do me. Me and Chuck can probably kind of play off each other a little bit. I, I, don't, I don't think it's somebody that would, something somebody would go, do you hear this? Well, I do know Sokol, when we were talking to Bass Strikes Back, his request was, do you think like something special that you could do that's just different. Maybe at the end of the show, all you guys get up there and jam a song. And so that might be possible. Well, possible. You know, we could all get up there and do a cover or something, and just all motor, of us jam do a fucking Motorhead song or, or something. something like so that. I said, you know, that'd be interesting, and maybe something different to add for the fans. You know, that'd probably be the closest thing we'd get to recording something together. I think. Yeah, but I think to take the time that we are, we barely have enough time to fucking put our own songs look at us we took seven years to get you a fucking record so i don't think it'd be something to do honestly well, we got one more tim one more. Um, one more okay is an exodus or testament live album a possibility i've been saying it since i got back because i thought that it might be cool hearing me sing some of the duke songs live you know because i love to do those i mean iconoclasm and children of worth of god Valor Leonard Charles, Death Amphetamine. I'd love to do those. And we haven't done one in 32 years when we did Good Friendly Violent Fun from the Fillmore. Well, we did one so. back, but that was with our original lineup, Greggy and right. them. So I want to do one with Gene. I want to have the Giorgio in there. Uh, so that's why we're, we're thinking about capturing the Fox. And I want to do so it at home. So live album DVD the whole fucking 10 yards. Yeah, I want to do it at home. Right. And what a better venue. And it's going to well, be a sick a, that's crowd. A good one. So, I, you know. I, I've already promised South America they're getting it. So if you guys are looking, Chile, Brazil. Oh, you Argentina. just want the flares in the crowd. Of ground. course. What I mean, I'm not, <laughs> right, maybe they'll get golf carts. Yeah. How about the dogs? The dogs that run wild. Yeah. That, the weird fucking, they have wild dogs out there. Unlike, you know, we have SPCA and people that pick them up, dog catcher. They don't have those down there. It's wild, man. Yeah. Sometimes the pit, there's dogs in the pit. It's wild. It's wild. So anyway, that's just what's going on here. Chuck wanted to come in, and I thought it was a great idea. We let you guys know where we're going, what's happening right now. Again, I don't know if there'll be single shows set up for Exodus, maybe a little run in Florida they're talking about, or run in the South, quite possible, after the first of the year, just to kill some time for a few months until, because it starts about April 9th, right? Like almost the first, April, yeah. So you figure, you know, 
we're already in you know, five months it's starting in five months basically you know what I mean you guys have already waited a year and a half so there's really much much why we fuck they waited seven years for an album we haven't been on tour for 20 months so it's just one of those things so it's a little bit more time as our world is changing we got to kind of change along with it basically so I want to thank everybody for coming in I want to thank my sponsors which are death wish coffee if you need to get your ass Woke up in the morning, get yourself some. You guys drink Death Wish coffee, don't you, Charlie? Well, we got our Testament coffee now. Oh, so well, don't Testament forget coffee. it. Yeah. <laughs> really plug that. You dark, got anything dark, to plug? Dark Roast you of Earth. anything to plug? Plug it. Well, Go we ahead. got Dark Roast of Earth that's out. Where uh, can they get that? D Rock Coffee. D, the letter D, rockcoffee.com. Okay, and go ahead, plug and it. And get it on Testament website as well, but it's uh, Dark Roast of Earth. It's really good. How is shit. it? Is it really? It's really good. It's got a hint of cocoa, and it's, uh, I'm actually a light roast, and I was surprised when I taste it. I'm like, man, this is really good. It's like, I'm not a dark roast guy. So it surprised me, but I love it. Alex loves it. It's strong. It's good. That's Check what that out. Head. Since doing the plugging thing, there's a, just wanted to say thank you for all you guys do. Uh, Testament, the top of their game, are those Bay Strikes Back vans available to buy somewhere? You had those painted, didn't you? I had them painted, but I had ever since the response of them was pretty switch. good that we're actually going to have, uh, we're going to actually try to talk to vans and see if they can put the, that one out because there was an overwhelming response for them. Wait till you see the Bay Strike Back ones I've, I've had. Made too. I got some cool. I saw. That, I saw your Death Instagram. Angel and Exodus uh, on that. there. So nice. It'll be cool. Nice. But then again, those base strike back ones I might wear on that whole tour, and I might have that as uh, some sort of giveaway at the end of the tour. Ooh, I don't know about giveaway. Those hey. eBay did they? <laughs> I also want to shout out to Season of Mist. They do all of Zetro's Toxic Vault merchandise. This is a new one. I had this put on a hoodie. This is a, a print to order. These are the images from my motorcycle that they put on. Uh, there's, I got many images there. You can get them in Europe, seasonofmist.com. And here's the back. It's got me on my fucking scooter. It says, follow me to the Zetros, to the Toxic Vault. So uh, this is just kind of the stuff that uh, you can get. Seasonofmist.com. Uh, they print to order. You want a small black, you want a small red, you want a 5X, you know, whatever. They print to order anything. It's like you don't have to go, oh, shit, I'm out of smalls. I got to wait right, till I react. Right. And then also, my new hot sauce will be unleashed in the next couple of weeks. Zetro's Toxic Shock. I got a shout out to Hella Hot Hot Sauce who has made that. I saw the bo the packaging and the, he's bottling it up right now. So he sent me a package. I don't know if that's in it. If it is, I will definitely turn it off onto you guys. So definitely look at um, Hella Hot Hot Sauce. And if you need to send a birthday greeting, just go to cameo.com and request me, and I can do greetings, bar mitzvahs break up to your your girlfriend or your boyfriend for you, however, anything, cameo.com. Catch me. You got anything else, Charlie? Well, we're working on some cannabis products at... Uh, oh, we looked at Some you, edibles, some pre-rolls, working on that. What's the company? Um, can't name it yet, okay. but uh, also I know we both have it on Puck. Puck. So if yeah, you want a nice, hockey. coolest hockey jersey ever... Oh, they're the best. They're the best. They're, they're, they're cool. If you haven't seen those, go check out that Puck Hockey. Testament Exodus and yeah. a lot of they have a lot of metal, other so. bands too. They, they're the only, and I mean, real hockey jerseys. Real jerseys. You've seen them. I wore them on the on the vault many many, many times. Many different colors: purple yeah, and black, red and black, of shit, just all all kinds everything. of everything. So yeah, check that out. Yeah, people were hitting me up on my promo. They're going, "Damn, Zetro, were you stoned yesterday when you did that?" I took a hit. There's this this company that makes. I don't endorse people, them, but I'll give them a shout out. They're called Crew C R U, and they make really good weed in the dispensary i buy from the dispensary from time to time and i had some skywalker og before i fucking cut that promo yesterday and i was like that hit me and people were like damn zen I, are you stoned <laughs> had you have edibles this morning how baked are you because if you watch it again you'll see in the middle i'm like i kind of forget and then i catch myself <laughs> that i'm in the middle so just being a stoner so thanks for coming in everybody we'll see you soon on the vault i have some great interviews and other things just the things we do here on the vault we'll see you soon See Take ya. care. Later.